going on everybody bauer brown here welcome back to the channel guys in the video that i have for you guys today i'm going to be answering a couple of questions about the field dimensions with bitmap or basically about fields in general okay uh, so there's been a, bit, a little bit of confusion surrounding this uh, first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to hop over into my data folder okay uh, now you can see that i have this info layer underscore field dimensions all right, so all of you guys that are that have not installed this script, this field dimensions with bitmap, if you're doing your fields the uh, conventional way, the, the blue square method, you will not have this file. OK, you don't have any need for this file. All right. Now, this is not necessarily where the, the fields are being stored. OK, so that was the question. One, people said, well, I don't have that file. OK, well, you're not using that script, so you won't have that file. All right. now. The other question was, well, where is my field information being stored? OK, so for those guys that are using field dimension with bitmap. Wow, that is freaking me out there. That circle is not keeping up with my mouse. <laughs> That's all right. We'll deal with it for now. So, OK, so the guys that are uh, using field dimension with bitmap, you know, they have that info layer. But if you're not, you know, if you're just using a blue square method, well, well, where where then is that information being stored? All right. Well, there seems to be some confusion about that whole entire process. OK, uh, so when you're working with the blue square method, all right, when you create when you go in, let's go into gameplay here. We'll click on this, open up fields. All right. Field zero one. Now you have these corners in here. Remember the corners that we worked on and we would place one down and we'd stretch it here, there, you know, stretch it to fit. And then we would copy that corner, make a new one, stretch that again that is your field information okay it doesn't get stored to a file anywhere this map.i3d that is your file all right so each time you do this and you and you make one of these corners it stores the coordinates your x y and z coordinate okay and then again you know for corner number two it stores the x y z right on down the list so when you finally go up the scripts we go to map and then we toggle render field areas what it does is it runs through this list really quickly and it creates a like an overlay of sorts for each one of these corners. Right. And that's how you see your uh, your fields. That's how they show up. That's how that overlay is created. All right. Now, for you guys that are using field dimensions with bitmap, it's it's just it's a little bit different. Now, it's not entirely different, just a little bit. Uh, let me explain what's going on here. So let me get myself into my. Uh, field dimensions here. Okay. I am in the uh, foliage. Let's get out of there. <laughs> All right. Field, whoop, whoop, farmland. Let's go back into field dimensions. Field number one. All right. So here's field number one. Okay. Now, if I was to, uh, well, first let me explain what this is doing. Okay. So when you create this field, right, you're, you're just basically painting it on there. Like you would any other info layer, just scribble, scribble, scratch, scratch. Uh, paint paint you get the idea right so we're painting it on there now what happens is when you save when you save the map it's it's logging all this information basically it's taking a snapshot of it and it's storing it to that info layer your field dimensions uh, info layer underscore you know what i'm talking about it's your uh go back there yeah info layer underscore field dimensions okay so it's taking a snapshot of what we just did here and it's storing it to that file now, when you come back and you go to map, you go up to scripts, go to map. Well, let me make sure fields is highlighted first. Go to scripts, go to map, toggle render field areas. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I skipped a step. Um, once you save it, like I said, it'll make a snapshot and it'll save this to its uh to that info layer. Okay, so everything's saved, it made a snapshot. Then you'll come back and you will actually run your field dimensions with bitmap script. All right. So what this script does, uh, and you can even see it in the, uh, in the script itself. If you go to the script editor, right, we go field dimensions with bitmap. All right. That's why it wants to know the location of this info layer. All right. One, so it, it can write this information to it, but two, so it can read that information. All right. So what it does at that point is it goes back to an info layer. It takes a look at that snapshot, all right? Same thing that you did here when you were moving around those blue squares. 
it goes through and it uses that snapshot to recreate every one of these corners, right? So it'll go through and create corner one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll do all of that for you. Okay. So that's the only difference, right? So the blue square method, you basically did that yourself. You went through and you created the corners and moved things around the way you wanted it to. Uh, field dimensions with bitmap, it used that info layer uh, as a reference to create these corners for you. All right, so there really is no difference between the two after the fact, right? So if we go to scripts, map, and then we go to toggle render field areas. Did that work? I'm not sure if that worked or not. Uh, let's turn off my info layer. It did. All right, so what you see here, you know, it looks like a fancy overlay, right? Not a whole lot different uh, than what you would see over here on your uh, on your regular fields but it is the same thing right so if we go down here get really close all right you can kind of see the separation here this is not one big uh graphic or illustration so let's go into corner one one here really quick oops right now let's move this see that that's just one slice of this this is this is the same thing that you did using the blue square method is, is it created a bunch of, of little overlays, right? And it stretched them and pulled them and it, and it did everything it needed to do to recreate that field that you had drawn and it was saved on the info layer. There's no difference between these. Okay, see how that works? And this is the same thing. So I can go into my corners just like I did on the blue square method, right? And I can pull these any old way that I want. It's no different. It's the same thing. All right. So that that's where I think people are getting a little bit confused is, you know, on the blue square method, we're wondering, well, you know, if the inf if the uh, field dimension guys have their own file and that's where that field information is being stored, where is my information being stored using the blue square method? All right. Well, all of the information in both cases is stored right here inside of your fields. All of these corners, every one of these. Uh, has an you know an X Y Z value or at least an X Z value, okay? So you can you know have a look through here and you can see you know corner one has an X Y Z, corner two, same thing, you know, so on and so forth, okay? Uh, so hopefully that clears up a little bit of the confusion about uh, how this actually works, you know, where that information is being stored. Uh, now I know not everybody that watches these videos uses the script; they don't use field dimensions with Bitmap. Uh, so when I'm going through and I happen to mention like a certain info layer, uh, people are immediately alarmed. They're confused because, you know, they think they need that file when in fact they don't. It's it's an optional file. And maybe I'm not being very clear uh, about what it is I'm saying when I, you know, when I when I bring that up in a video. OK, so I guess I'll, I'll learn my lesson from that and be a little more clear in the future that uh, that field dimensions with bitmap, that info layer. Uh, not everybody has that. That's only if you're choosing uh, to use that script to create your fields. Okay. So like I said, that's what's going on there. You draw your fields. Once you save it, it takes a picture. It saves it to the info layer. All right. And then when you actually run the uh, field dimensions with bitmap script, it takes a look at that picture uh, and it uses the information contained, you know, within to recreate all of your corners. Uh, just like the blue square method, you know, it creates for a bunch of corners for all your fields. Uh, and then when you toggle render field area, field area, you get exactly what you have with the blue square method. Okay. Uh, no different. Alrighty. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to try to make this video any longer than what it really needs to be. I hope that cleared up any of the confusion that you had, you know, between those two methods, you know, the info layer. Uh, compared to the uh, standard blue square method. Okay. Uh, so any more questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments, you know, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown and I will see you on the next one. All righty. So maybe I fibbed a little bit. I am going to make this video just a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> uh, there was something that I wanted to touch upon and, and I didn't. And of course, after the fact is, is when I remember that uh, concerning resolution. Use guys that are, are using the blue square method, the default method for creating fields. Okay. It is impossible for you to have a resolution issue with your fields. All right. And I think that's, that's what was confusing people. You thought you had a resolution issue 
but you didn't know which file you needed to adjust. Uh, but let me just put that to bed right now. And if you are using the blue square method, the default method, it is impossible to have a resolution issue. The way a resolution issue would work with field dimensions with bitmap is if your info layer was not the correct size, it was either too big or too small, right? Once it took a snapshot of this field and saved it to that info layer, okay, it would look okay, it would save okay, not a problem there. Uh, but when you ran the script and it had a look at that, 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 uh, that snapshot and it calculated all your field corners, it with this XYV, XYZ value it generated, would have it at the wrong place, right? So proportionally, it would be fine. It would look exactly like your regular field, only it would be bigger or smaller uh, because the dimensions of your info layer were off, right? So it created uh, your overlays are all the wrong size, right? So that's why you need to adjust the resolution of the info layer, all right? So when it performs those calculations against that image, you know, it, the the overlay comes up to be the correct size, right? The X, Y, Z values, these translate values are all in the correct places. Okay. So like I said, you guys that are doing, a, you know, your standard, your standard default blue square method, uh, you will not have a resolution issue. All right. So I guess that's the uh, one advantage of using that method impossible to have any type of resolution issue with your fields all right and then like i said the guys that are using the uh field dimension with bitmap the only resolution issue you're going to have uh, is when you toggle render field areas if your fields are either too big or too small uh, the resolution for your info layer is going to be off okay uh outside of that it's not going to create any other problems that you would see in game so if you're having some sort of problem with your field things don't look right uh, it has nothing to do with the field dimension. Ooh, it has nothing to do with your field dimensions with bitmap script. All right. That's the only thing. The only thing that it does is actually create the fields. Right. And that, that, you know, creates these corners and stuff like that. That's it. You know, it doesn't affect anything in game or unless for some reason you left it that way, you didn't fix your resolution. Then of course your fields aren't going to look right once you get in game. Uh, but that's basically it. So like I said, one more time, you guys that are using the default method, blue square method, you will not have any type of file uh, that stores a snapshot. Uh, you cannot have a resolution issue. It just doesn't work that way. And uh, unfortunately, you guys that are using the field dimensions with bitmap, you can have a resolution issue. OK, so that that's why that's why your resolution uh, needs to be adjusted sometimes. Okay. So like I said, if your field dimension with bitmap, uh, or I'm sorry, if your info layer is, is, you know, the incorrect size that will generate the, you know, your fields proportionally correct, but not the correct size. All right. So hopefully that made a little bit of sense. And this time I am actually going to let you go. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown and I will see you on the next one.